Hello, my name is Clark Zen. And I'm Marielle Zen, and we are former foster parents, now adoptive parents. One year we actually hosted a, a life group at our church and we had some friends that were a part of it and they were foster adoptive parents. And uh, we just saw uh, the cool joy that they had and the dynamic and, and they in invited us just to take a look and see what uh, being a foster parent was all about. And so we decided that we would just take a peek look at the training and and see what the Lord uh, would open our hearts to. I think one thing that really stuck out to me was that taking the classes didn't mean that we were signing up for it. We were just getting to find out more um, and that would also help us to know what, how we could meet any need. Um, and we of course prayed about our just our own hearts as we, we went into it. Um, we just asked God to, to take away any fears or concerns that we had and just, you know, bring us excitement and joy and into what he would be doing in our lives through foster care. So we as a church have this amazing opportunity to be able to show them how much they're loved, how much they're worth, how, uh, what God says about them. Speak truth into their life because you're inviting them into your life. And so they get to be a part of everything that you're a part of. And if we do that and make, and, and, and hopefully Jesus is the major part of your life, then it can be a part of that child's, a major part of that child's life while they're in your home. So some things that I wish that our community would just know about these kids is that they're your neighbors. Um, there's unimaginable things happening to them right in your own backyard. And to be in that situation where there is not another person in that you're familiar with that can take you in for whatever reason. There's so many reasons why that happens. Even though we try to keep them with relatives or people that they already know, if you're getting that phone call, it's because there's nobody left. And if you're that person who feels that tug on your heart that says, you know what, I can, I'm not perfect, but I have love to give. I have more room in my car. I have more room at my dinner table. We can fit another bed in somewhere in our house. If that's you, just know that there's a child out there who would love to be loved and cared for by you because you might be the only person left. And so if that's you, the blessings on the side, other side of that yes far outweigh any negative um, thoughts that you might have about whether you're unequipped or whether you don't have enough or whatever the case may be, because to be able to be that for another human being is invaluable.